Here are my audience members. Marijuana has been used as early as the 3rd millennium BCE by the people of Asia for both recreational and medicinal purposes. Uh, during the beginning of the 20th century, uh, many countries created laws to prohibit the possession and use of marijuana. In recent years, marijuana use has become more accepted in the United States, with four states legalizing recreational use, 24 states legalizing medicinal use, and 18 states criminalizing marijuana in small amounts. Uh, marijuana has long been used to treat diseases and symptoms associated with uh, various diseases. Uh, research has indicated that marijuana can help in numerous different ways in the medical field, though more research must be done in order to find the extent of its medical capabilities. Uh, as of right now, no professional sports in the United States uh, allow the use of marijuana in any way, and they continue to test its players and fine them or suspend them if they are found to be using it. Professional sports leagues are doing their players who put their bodies on the line for them a disservice by not allowing them to Uh, marijuana use should be allowed in professional sports. I will focus on three main points in my argument. Uh, the first is marijuana can help players cope with their various injuries and stress that they get from playing. Uh, second is that marijuana has become much more accepted in today's society. And third uh, is the research done on marijuana for its medicinal purposes has continued to be very promising. Uh, my first argument is professional athletes deal with many injuries. Uh, in their careers, both physical and mental, due to their strain or due to the strain that their respective uh, sports put on their bodies, uh, marijuana use can help with these injuries. In the Sports Illustrated article titled "Smoke Signals," uh, the numerous authors of the article support the idea that medical marijuana and recreational use of it should be allowed in the NFL and other professional sports leagues. Uh, many players in contact sports use marijuana recreationally to deal with the stress that their jobs put on them and also to deal with the aches and pains they have from their line of work. Uh, players know they could be punished for using marijuana, but they believe that the uh, pros of using it outweigh the cons. Uh, each professional player assesses at least once a year for marijuana use and other drug use, and if they aren't caught, they will continue to use it recreationally. Uh, studies have shown that marijuana use has led to a decrease in painkiller use amongst players uh, in the NFL, which is a very promising statistic. Uh, the NFL and other leagues should work alongside lawmakers in Washington, D.C. to study the medicinal effects that marijuana has and work to change their policies. Uh, Nate Jackson, writer of the New York Times article, The NFL's Absurd uh, Marijuana Policy, is a former professional football player uh, that deals with pain from his former playing days and uses marijuana to cope with it uh, still today. He has found that an overwhelming majority of players favor the use of marijuana to deal with pain over the use of injections or painkillers. Uh, he also found that players self-control themselves and other players in the locker room when, mar when marijuana use starts to affect their production on the field. Uh, marijuana is classified as a, is classified in professional sports alongside opiates, opioids, and other high-class drugs, though it is much less dangerous or, and addictive. Uh, in order to not be publicly fined or suspended because of marijuana use, most players have turned towards using painkillers, and painkillers are much more addictive and can lead to abuse, which is highly dangerous. My second main point is uh, the American citizen's acceptance of marijuana use and how it has grown in recent years. In the article, Political and Medical Views on Medical Marijuana and Its, uh, and its Future, author Mimi Ruberas states that medical marijuana has always been favored in public opinion, uh, with the majority of Americans in favor of legalized marijuana use in that, uh, for at least a medicinal basis. And nearly half of the states legalizing marijuana for medical use. It should also be used in professional sports leagues for medicinal purposes. Uh, there are currently uh, three states and Washington, D.C. that have legalized marijuana use for both recreational and medicinal purposes. Uh, these states also have at least one professional sports team that calls them home. Uh, the governing bodies of these teams don't allow players to use marijuana, even though it is within their legal right to do so. Uh, author Emma Maris of Marijuana Goes Legit, but of uh, research is hazy, states that 54% of Americans believe that marijuana should be fully legalized across all fronts, when just four years ago, uh, only 41% supported that. Uh, she believes that more Americans will follow suit in the belief that more studies are uh, belief uh, if more studies are released showing the positive effects of marijuana. Uh, marijuana currently is classified as a highly restricted drug by the federal government, and public perception is trying to change that. Our government, our government is a democracy run by the people, and the people want change. Uh, and the citizens of America and all across the world are what drive professional sports and keep them in business with their viewership and fandom. 
Uh, and professional sports leagues uh, should listen to their wants when it comes to changes in marijuana policies, because without them, they wouldn't make money. Americans have lobbied to lawmakers in Washington, D.C. to legalize marijuana on, on recreational and medicinal basis. And professional sports leagues must take notice and change their outdated policies or risk losing some of their fans. Uh, my third and final main point comes down to the research done on marijuana and the promise it holds. In the periodical article, uh, Health Effects of Marijuana Use, uh, found in the Con uh, Congressional Digest, it is uh, found that marijuana can help with numerous medical issues. Uh, some of the adverse effects that marijuana can help with are pain, uh, mental issues such as depression and seizures, uh, as well as nausea from chemotherapy treatments or the side effects from HIV AIDS. Uh, the Food and Drug Administration has been studying the effects of marijuana for many years on the bodies of people who are sick or are hurting, and have found that marijuana has immense medical qualities. Uh, studies have found that a certain cannabinoid found in marijuana can help manage pain while also not having any psychoactive, pro psychoactive properties that are commonly associated with the drug. Uh, a number of states have used these exact findings to legalize marijuana for medicinal purposes within their borders. Uh, while most professional sports leagues say they will follow uh, res the research of marijuana and its medical uses and will adjust the rules accordingly, uh, the research is there for them to use uh, and uh, read the study, and they should use it to change their policies towards marijuana. Uh, if one of their players can be helped because of marijuana, they should be allowed to. Uh, in the Time Magazine article is Pot Good For You by John Cloud. Uh, he states that marijuana use and research have expanded mightily over the last decade and a half. Uh, most people that disregard medical research on marijuana do so because they are already biased towards marijuana and will automatically write the research off as probably not credible. Uh, many scientists studying the drug have found marijuana to have great uses in the medical field, but some believe these studies are being sabotaged by the federal government as they fail to release many findings to the general public. Uh, marijuana has been used for over 4,700 known years to treat medical cases, and the studies done on pain, it has been shown to help the patient deal with pain just as much, or if not more, than uh, common addictive painkillers. And allowing for the use of marijuana in professional sports leagues can, uh, can cut the addiction and abuse of painkillers and help the players that are making money. Uh, in conclusion, American professional athletes deal with pain and mental issues on a daily basis, both during their time playing and afterwards, uh, due to the work that is expected of them. Firstly, an athlete's line of work calls for them to put their bodies on the line, uh, which can cause serious injuries uh, that can have lasting effects even after their, playing, after their playing days, and marijuana can help deal with these injuries. Um, secondly, the public perception towards marijuana has become more positive uh, towards legalization and professional sports leagues must take notice of this. And then third and lastly, research has uh, shown the promising results of marijuana uh, used for medicinal purposes, and more research continues to come out on a regular basis. Uh, professional athletes are citizens just like you and me, but the leagues in which they play for don't treat them like ones. Uh, it's as good a time as any for professional sports leagues to change their rules and policies that govern their players and become more updated towards recent research and claims. Uh, if you are hurting on a daily basis and marijuana can help, wouldn't you want the right uh, to use it? Uh, marijuana use should be allowed in professional sports. That's a wrap.